There are times and places where the challenges appear overwhelming, and the path to change is at best narrow and difficult. Michigan in 2002 was such a place and time. The state was in a vortex of deficits and economic crisis. The auto industry was hemorrhaging jobs, with the worst yet to come. Jobs were leaving, going overseas. Robots were replacing people. The state faced record deficits and a crisis of confidence. It was an economic storm that was ravaging cities and families across the state. And this was the time and place that Jennifer Granholm chose to lead. Robert F. Kennedy's favorite quote, the one with which he ended almost all his campaign speeches, was from George Bernard Shaw. Some men see things as they are and ask why. I see things that have never been and ask why not. It was an inspiration for a generation of leaders that included Jennifer Granholm. This is that story. There's no doubt Governor Jennifer Granholm saw this state through an extraordinarily difficult time. There was no one more vociferously supportive as they navigated that crisis. Clearly, there were hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of jobs rescued. We've never gone through a period like this where your primary industry has imploded. And nobody would have ever dreamed that two of our largest industries around the globe could go bankrupt. This could have been an outright disaster if it had not been handled properly. And certainly when you looked at the options available to Chrysler going forward and, and the needs for this plant, I wouldn't have put money on the source. She never gave up. She kept on pushing real hard, quietly. Thanks to her and her active assistance and tireless support, General Motors has been able to invest hundreds of millions of dollars in recent years in Volt-related facilities across the state of Michigan. I think she also understood how important this industry was to the state of Michigan, and that really, in many ways, the success of the state was gonna be dependent upon the success of the auto industry. So I think Governor Granholm has been a real blessing for the state of Michigan. She had tremendous energy and she put 100% into the job. I think that she'll be rewarded uh, 10 years from now. She's planted a lot of seeds that I think, you know, will bear fruit. Over the past few years, I've shared a stage many times with the governor, celebrating together the groundbreaking of a new manufacturing plant, introducing new technologies and products being developed and produced right here in Michigan. Since I was a kid, I've heard that uh, we want to diversify and do other things and, and go in other directions, but nobody ever had the guts. That's vision that is unbelievable. This is leadership and vision, and that's exactly what she's done in this energy forum. I think one of her biggest accomplishments in her term was the comprehensive energy legislation. It was a bipartisan effort, and what resulted has been characterized as some of the most progressive, best energy legislation of almost any state in the union. I have never seen anyone work harder to bring jobs to the state of Michigan. Certainly, no governor in recent history has had to face the amount of economic and political challenges that Governor Jennifer Granholm has faced. She never complained about the cards she was dealt. She combined grace with grit. Governor Granholm will be the first Michigan governor in my memory that will have given their successor a balanced budget. What state in this nation can claim that distinction of actually having reduced its general fund expenditures? And while that's happened, we've been able to maintain those programs that are important to help their family get through these tough times. Jennifer Granholm is willing to fight for the men and women who make up our middle class and for the causes and concerns that they hold dear. One of the challenges, I think, during these economic times for the governor was trying to find a way to make all of that work and yet protect the most vulnerable citizens in the state. Well, actually, the most important thing she did was prior to my arrival in 2003 when the DMC was on the verge of closing. I think she did a great job of keeping her composure, keeping her focus. We were able to get things going in the right direction. 
Michigan's looked at as one of the better places from a healthcare accessibility and affordability stance. And I think that was an important issue to the governor from the beginning, and I think it showed throughout her two terms. Governor Jennifer Granholm's leadership in setting high standards for our children will create dividends for children and families in Michigan, and indeed for decades to come. We bolstered the high school graduation requirements, and our test scores are going up. Well, the No Worker Left Behind program was designed for people who are about to be laid off or who were laid off. It enabled them to get educational credentials and find employment. Her commitment to the development of the award-winning Pure Michigan campaign has added revenue, jobs, and a renewed pride in our great state. It has been an honor for me to work with Governor Granholm through many of the most trying years of our state's history. She just has a tremendous sense. It's impeccable, her integrity and her honesty and her ability to see things through. And so today is not an end, but instead a beginning, a new era for Michigan based on a proud legacy and heritage. And we are at this place because the people chose a leader who then chose a path who united people and raised their hopes, who demanded results and never faltered, who saw things that never were and said, why not?